Well, hello, crew. It's the elf Michelle back here from Water Girl Quilt Co. And we are going to open number 19 today. It's December 19th. Hope you've been really enjoying your advent box of quilting goodies, especially all of our videos. And I hope you've been writing down the word of the day on your bingo card. Today, December 19th, the word of the day is block. Block. Because what do I love to do? Make quilt blocks. So today's word is block. Now, speaking of quilt blocks, could this be something to make a quilt block or some other kind of project in here? Let's find out what is on baggie number nine. It's soft and squishy, so I'm guessing it might be fabric. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So we have a pattern and we have fabric. Alrighty, let's check this out. So my pattern is goodie bags. It's a goodie bag pattern and this is a little pattern that we had designed for you from Water Girl Quilt Co. and it's going to make some fun little goodie bags that you can put gift cards into, candies, maybe some little sewing notions for your quilting friends. Super cute. I'm going to show you mine. I already made some. So the instructions for the pattern makes you two little bags and we gave you two very cute fat quarters which is all the fabric you'll need to make two of these little goodie bags. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. So I had to give you my favorite color, teal. I just love teals and turquoises. And this is from one of my favorites, Libs Elliott. She's a Canadian fabric designer and pattern designer from Toronto. And Libs designs for Andover fabrics. I just love how she always puts fun little geometric things in it. So this one has all kinds of just little odds and sods and cute little trinkets on it. And that is a super cute collection. So we've got a fat quarter of that. And then to go with it, to give you kind of some gold for the holidays, I put in an Allison Glass print for you as well. Because she is one of my other favorite designers. And I find that um, both Allison Glass, Libs Elliott, they have a lot of kind of deep jewel tones and their fabrics go nicely together. So here's what this is going to make for you. This is going to make two goodie bags and I just think they're so cute. So here's one and there's my other one. So you're going to make be able to make two. They're like little mirrored images of each other. Now you're going to say, okay, what about ribbon? I didn't find ribbon in my little package. We did not give you ribbon because if you are like me and most quilters kind of like to find ways to reuse things, I save all the ribbons off of my fat quarter bundles. I save ribbons off of boxes of chocolates. Just the other day, I think there was ribbons around the new set of bed sheets I bought. Keep those ribbons. Why go buy more when you can reuse these? It's good for the environment. So this is a little shout out to Free Spirit Fabrics, who designs a lot of the fabric we sell in our store, manufactures it. I just cut those up and I reuse them. So a few little tips for you when you're making your pattern, the goodie bags. Okay, well, when you go to sew on these ribbons, I hope you're going to use your wood pressing, sorry, not your wood pressing bar. <laughs> I've been eating too much sugar. Use your glue pen to hold your ribbons in place before you go to sew. And when you're ready to turn your baggie inside out, use that poker end of your wood thingamabobby that we gave you. It's also great when you go to box your corners. If you put it right in there and get your iron right against it, you can get nice boxed corners so that it sits really well. I'm going to post a couple more tips in our Facebook group. So go over there and have a look at what I learned and what I did with decorative stitching and just some other little tips and tricks for you. So have fun making your little goodie bags and go to the store and get some treats to fill them for yourself too. I'll see you back here tomorrow crew. Happy holidays!